How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Relics, and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, today, guys, I have decided to revisit an old Pokemon fan game that I, uh, I actually haven't taken a look at in a long time, and it did have an update, and this is called Pokemon Origin. Now, this is a game that originally was meant to kind of, like, recreate Fire Red again, but, like, with, you know, upgraded graphics and in Unreal Engine 4. So I decided, you know what? I want to play this game so I can show you guys how it works. Now, first things first, we are in the house right here, which you most, most of you people who have it, like, who've seen my old video about this, most of you probably already know about this part right here. Like, it's nothing special. You just talk to your, your uh, mother in the game, and that's it. But um, you'll see as, yeah, there you go. She's going to talk to you. The camera pans around. I'm just going to skip that because there's really nothing much there to do. But why I wanted to do this video, guys, is because... I missed an update, and I want to give you a bit of an update on what the game's, you know, what's happening with the game. So apparently the game is currently um, on hiatus slash cancelled. Uh, the reason why is because the developer is busy developing an actual game um, for a company. Now he's actually employed for game development, which is awesome, by the way. I, you know, that's just great to hear. Um, but, like, he's currently doing that, so he isn't able to continue working on the game. And also, the other point is, this game is kind of what I would imagine uh, graphics... I mean, if they're using Unreal Engine, I wouldn't be surprised if they were to use this. Now, this is how kind of upscaled models from, like, Sun and Moon and stuff... Actually, these are from Pokemon Go, I think, specifically, but they have, like, custom animations and stuff for them. I think these are from Pokemon Go. I may be wrong, though. Um, but, like, this is how they kind of could look like. So we're gonna go Charmander here. Gonna accept that real quick. Thank you. And uh, we're gonna see as... Uh, Green or blue, whatever you want to call him, he's going to take his. So we're going to walk out here. He's going to talk to us, and we're going to send out our Pokemon. Going to press Q to actually use my abilities and stuff. So there you go. Going to attack him. Oh, come on. Come on. There you go. Keep it up. Keep it up. This is kind of what I would imagine a battle could be like. You know, a bit more of an interactive battle in, in the Switch game. There you go. We actually defeated him. Let's go, dude. Let's go, man. Let's go. <laughs> there you go. Perfect. So he actually defeated Blue here. Now, in terms of story, this game never really had much. Uh, you just, you know, he was working on it. He was really, really working on it, but it never managed to get finished off fully. And this is kind of what I mean by graphics. I mean, look at this. This is the lighting here. Look at this lighting. This is just fantastic lighting. And the only issue is he's using the, he was using the 3D model of uh, the Trainer Red, you know, Trainer Red from specifically Sun and Moon, X, you know, Sun and Moon and Ultra Sun and Moon, not X and Y. Uh, he was using specifically those 3D models, and he does, he uses most of those 3D models from those games, but the actual world itself is more, mostly just Unity stuff. So we have another battle right here, but instead of battling him, I'm going to just walk up, get to the Pokemon Center, which is, um, you know, up this road. But I gotta say, though, it's, it, I mean, it's a beautiful looking game, though. Like, the actual lighting and stuff is fantastic. And I've seen some people use, like, Literally footage from this game in their thumbnails saying like, oh, it's Pokemon Switch. No, it's not Pokemon Switch. No, it's just, it's just a fan game that was made. I made a video about this a long time ago. A lot of you guys seemed very interested in it. Um, I made about three videos on it, actually, um, you know, as it was getting updated because there was more and more things being added. And I was super excited. And then eventually, you know, uh, there wasn't anything new for a while. So I'm just going to quickly over here and just heal up. Thank you. Nurse Joy. Very nice. I really do wish somebody could, t like, pick up this project and continue it. Because, I mean, look at these. Look at them. Look at this. This is beautiful. Like, you know, if it wasn't just for the slightly low-res uh, face right there, I mean, I mean, it's not even low-res on this character, it's just the texture that looks maybe likely the low-res compared to everything else. But if you just had a bit of an upgraded character, you would have, like, perfect, like, just a perfect, like, uh, world for Pokemon, I feel like. Even this, like, you know, slightly more realistic, you know, textures and stuff, they look really nice. I mean, look at these flowers. It's just, I don't know why, but it just, it flows really well and it looks nice. Um, now, I didn't actually want to go there because, um... I mean, he's going to give me Pokeballs, but I don't really need that at the moment. Um, I think when you want to tr throw Pokeballs, uh, you can actually press there to save as well. But if you want to throw Pokeballs, you actually, I think, press, like, like backspace or something. I can't remember, but um, you do have a Pokemon gym up there. I think it's um, I think it's Brock you can take on. So that's one thing you can go and do. You have a few buildings. There's really nothing in these buildings. Like, no, there's, like, no players. There's nothing like that. Uh, and I can't really see... Oh, now I finally see Pokemon. So here's how Pokemon look like. And this is kind of what I would imagine if they were to do Switch. Like, it would be really cool if Pokemon were just walking around like this. This is kind of what I would imagine, right? And this is why I wanted to do this video, because I know a lot of people have been asking, like, you know, um, how would it look like? You know what I mean? And this has simply been done by... You know what I mean? This has simply been done by just fans. This is done by, by a single fan. Not even several fans, but just a single fan and single person who, who you know, uh, likes Pokemon. And now I just said no to battling him. Because it's Brock, and I don't want to take him on, because I'm going to get roasted, so, you know what I mean, like, uh, let's see, um, there you go, I'm going to switch over to the camera, and right in front of me, we have, um, let's see, can we get it, oh, wait, that was a freaking, okay, now we actually hit him, there you go, there's Flamethrower, so you have four moves, it's one, two, three, four on the keyboard, and this game only works on PC, by the way, if you want to try it out, but again, it's a good kind of game to play, if you want to kind of see what it could work like, 
Uh, I don't know what stamina works like in this game. If it even, you know, if they even properly use stamina. Okay, well then, uh, that's that's depressing. Uh, okay, now that was that was annoying. Wish I didn't have to, uh, you know, deal with fainting Pokemon. Now, actually, you don't get sent to the Pokemon Center when you get fainted Pokemon. You actually have to walk back there, which is, uh, you know, it's it's whatever. It's just a short little game, a short little demo, so to say. Um, but in general, though, I want to just point out this game is that it has a lot to offer. And if you want to see, like, kind of what Unreal Engine can do in terms of, you know, Pokemon fan games and stuff and that sort of stuff, then this is it, right? This is kind of like, you know, the graphics you can kind of expect. Because Unreal Engine is fantastic. I mean, the Unreal Engine... Has everything from like the 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 Fortnites of the world all the way to the PUBGs of the world. You know what I mean? Like they they have the graphics they go from one thing to another pretty drastically. You know what I mean? So it's oh boy, we just got fully destroyed again by a freaking dude. What's with these Weedles? Then they were not this strong last time around. I I no, they were not this strong. This is actually pretty annoying. But oh well, there's actually a Weedle right there walking towards us. So I'm just gonna go quickly heal up and get that Weedle because the XP is actually worth it. So. Again, I'm not really sure about these things, and if, uh, you know, if the games will turn out looking even slightly like something like this, you know what I mean, in terms of graphics and all that. I do really wish, though, that the games we uh, we do get do look something, you know, a bit more, I don't know, less, uh, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Less, um, you know, cartoony and maybe a bit increased in, in graphics. But I think if they were to go with the Nino Kuni kind of logic, uh, you know, with the, yeah, also you have this position of, like, you know, Throwing the Pokeball, you just hold, you know, you just press uh, backspace, and yeah, that's how you do it. But if you don't have any Pokeballs on us right now, I don't think we have money to actually get Pokeballs, which is a bit frustrating. Oh, there's actually, well, there's a, there's a freaking, um, what should I call him? It's a freaking Bulbasaur right here, dude. Let's go for it. So I think you can catch all the starters except, except Charmander in the wild, dude. This is actually pretty cool. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Come on, no, dude, no, I got roasted. No! I was so close. Why? Why you do this to me? Oh, that's annoying. Well, I can't really do much, can we? That's a Bulbasaur that's pretty low health, so let's just go heal up again and try to get it one more time. And then we're going to go do some of those trainer battles down there, which I don't know how they actually work. Um, but I want to... Actually, I want to see. Can I buy anything? Yeah, can I, can I buy? Can I buy stuff? Please? Did I get stuff? Wait, did I get stuff? I didn't. No, nothing happens. I... I think I can't do much here. Huh. Well, now I feel like I'm stuck. Oh, no. We can go out. <laughs> See, the, the game has a lot of these things that happen where you get kind of stuck in places. But it's kind of whatever. But in terms of graphics, though, I think the lighting in this is perfect. It looks really nice. The actual, like, world itself that he started building was pretty pretty lush and beautiful. But then again, never got finished. Which is the the issue, really. If it if it ever got you know continued and whatnot, it would have been awesome. But I know he did get some issues with Nintendo as well. Um, you know, I think his mega upload of the game was actually taken down originally, but then he was able to put it up again. But um, I don't know. It's uh, it's depressing to see these sort of projects, you know, not get finished off because there's so many of them out there, but they never always get you know they don't always get finished off, and that's kind of like what kind of I don't know. It brings me down a bit because I really wish uh, that they were finished or like continued because that'd just be great for, like, all of us, because we'll be experiencing more stuff than just what we have currently. So let's just go here, and he's gonna throw out his uh, Pokemon. Oh boy, let's go. Dude, no, 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 not this bug again. Okay, let's go. Now we can do this. Oh my god, dude, how am I supposed to do anything against a freaking this Squirtle, man? I mean, we're a higher level, but, like, I just don't, don't feel like we're gonna be able to beat this. No, we, we ain't. We ain't. We ain't beating nothing. And now the Squirtle is going all spasming out and shit. That's just weird. I'm just gonna go heal up real quick and come back to this battle, dude. Because that Squirtle is still standing there. It's still fighting itself, dude. What is it fighting? This is, I mean, this is kind of funny, though. Because there's there are a lot of bugs that were not hashed out fully with the, you know, last release I saw. Um, and I, I think this is the, the last release that was given with updates and stuff. And if you guys want to see me play more of this and just trying to level up and trying to take on Brock and see what turns out there, because I haven't actually beaten Brock a single time and, you know, while testing this game out, I've never actually beaten him, so I want to ask you guys, do you want to see me actually play through more of this and actually beat Brock and see what happens? Um, because, you know what, actually, this is kind of worth it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna quickly just throw out my Pokemon here, if I can. Okay, oh boy, dude, this, uh, this freaking Squirtle is just, wow. That Squirtle was not really nice. So I'm gonna just uh, quickly bring out, uh, and also, yeah, you can have your Pokemon following you, by the way. So I'm just saying, if they can make Pokemon follow you, which I forgot to mention earlier, if they can make Pokemon follow you in this game, you know what I mean? And also have the uh, camera position, something like this, right behind the character, which I think would fit perfect, by the way. Like, I don't understand, like, 
why they wouldn't be able to do something like this for like Switch. I really think that this is be this should be possible. If they've been able to do it like with other games, they should be able to do it. Oh boy, did I just did I just pull them back? Now, nah, okay, now here we go. Perfect. Okay, great. <laughs> That's beautiful. Let's go, buddy. So if they can do this in a in a freaking game, you know, a fan game that works on PC, I feel like, and it's not even like this re requires a lot, to, you know, to run. Uh, it's a very easy game to run. I mean, I do have a pretty decent PC, though, but still, I feel like this should be able to run and, like, maybe downscale a few things and whatnot, and you should be able to, like, easily have this run on your, on computers and stuff. It shouldn't be, like, this giant problem. So, here we go, guys. There is the Onyx. Uh, there's actually a bug you can do here, which you, you can, you can stand in a specific position, and the Onyx won't be able to do any damage to you. And also, if you run just around, he won't actually be able to damage you much. So, uh, you know, that's also a thing you can do. I mean, I don't know if you want to, but, oh boy, we are just getting roasted. Uh, dude, oh no, this Onyx is just going to, wait, wait, oh yeah, this, 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 right here, this is the bug, this is the bug. So this is the bug that you can do, you can actually stand here, and I remember this, because I discovered this bug, and I was like, okay, you know what, actually, I could, I could literally win this battle if I just stand here and just fire him, you know, fire at him, but I, I was think I was using Squirtle for this, uh, or Bulbas, I, mean, I don't I think I was using Charmander for it, for the bug, originally. I mean, you want to probably use uh, Bubble, you know, on uh, Squirtle if you want to do this bug. But uh, this was a bug I discovered, and I was like, dude, this is perfect, because I can just stand here forever and just keep blasting this freaking Onyx, um, and I can win this in no time. But uh, yeah, it's it's just a, a bit of a time-consuming thing to do. Not sure if this is something you want to try, but uh, it's definitely, hey, it's worthwhile if you want to do that. It's like a level 20 Onyx, uh, and it's stuck in there right now. See what I mean? Like, it's actually stuck, so you have a lot of opportunities to take out this thing without any, any hassle, really. Just saying. But, uh, yeah, there you go. So, they, there, there are a few bugs in this that weren't hashed out. But, again, it was literally just a fan game demo project. So, you know, it's kind of whatever. And this is definitely not Brock. Just saying, though. Uh, either way, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to just drop a like down below, guys. It really does help out. It goes a long way. And thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you all in the next video. If you want to check out the game, by the way, I'm going to link to the YouTube channel for this uh, developer. And you can check out his video where you can download it from, guys. But, either way, thank you so much for watching. My name is Moral for Rallet. Have a great day. And bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.